Hi guys and welcome to this first tutorial on how to use AutoCAD. Okay, the first things we're going to do in this one is turn on the snap and auto commands. Okay, and then we're going to head up to the line command and click it. And then I'll just show you what auto does. It basically allows you to go in vertical and horizontal directions and they're, they're the only directions you can move in. Alright, now for this line we're going to make it 200 long. So we'll go to 200 and click, then across and type 200 with the keyboard and then press enter and then up. Type 200 again and then enter. And then for this, just to close it, we'll hit C and then enter for close and that closes it up for us. Now we want to make this square a bit bigger, so we're going to type Z for zoom, and then E for extents, and that brings the, the square up to full view. And there we go, nice big square to work with now. Okay, the next command we're going to use is the offset command, which is this one here. And we'll click that one. And now I've got to specify the distance. And for this one, I'm going to make it 20. You can't see that because it's a bit off the screen, but it's going to be 20. So I'll type that and hit enter. And now I select the object, which is this one here. And now I select which side I want to offset it on. And I chose that side because I'm going to draw a square inside a square. So now I can just choose the object and which side because we already have the distance that we want to offset. So there we go, there's the four sides. And now I just have to trim this one up to make it so that it's a square inside a square. So we'll tidy the edges up using the trim command there. Okay, now we just choose the lines that we want to work with, which are these inside lines. Then we hit enter. Okay, now we choose the parts of the line we want to trim which are obviously these outside bits. Alright, and once we've done this, I'm going to make a smaller square just in the corner of the small square using, again, the offset command, but this time with a length of 50. So I'll do that now, just type in 50, enter, and choose the sides. There we go. And this one here. There we go. And now I'll trim this just so it leaves the little square down the bottom there. Choose those lines. And then hit enter. And then delete them. And enter again. And that's that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got something out of it. And remember to get the next tutorial, just fill your name in down below. And then don't forget to confirm your email address. You should get an email that confirms that you'd like to receive the videos. And then the first video will be on its way. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.